Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're going to be talking about a little bit of pelvic mobilization. So clocking is something that so many people do is pre-Pilates warm-up, and it's such a fabulous warm-up, but you need to kind of think out of the box sometimes because some people are very, very uncomfortable in the supine position with lots of pressure on their pelvis, their SI joint, or their sacrum. So there's no rule book out there that says that you can only do clocking while laying on your back. It's actually really, really nice and very, very good for the body to do it in a prone position. I definitely use an overball to help this situation out, and I love to do it on a sitting box. It's a great primer before you have your clients maybe do overhead press, swan on the reformer, or even the pulling straps T-pull series. So it's as simple as this. You're going to get onto this long box, and this is going to go underneath the pelvis. And I'm going to drape my body over, and I'm going to probably scoot forward just a little bit, and I'm going to place my forehead onto my hands here. The legs are just hanging. So the ball is squarely in between the pubic bone and each ASIS bone. And the nice thing about this is that because we're doing it in this position, the pelvis is no longer blocked by the floor and the sacrum can do all of its beautiful movements it's supposed to do when we're moving the pelvis, the nutation and counter nutation of the sacrum. So you can cue it the exact same way between 12 o'clock and six o'clock rolling the ball towards the belly button, and then rolling the ball towards the pubic bone. And just try to get them to soften and let their glutes glow, go. And this is actually a really nice place to work 12 and six, because most people will grip their glutes when they do this, especially when they're on their back. But you're gonna be able to notice if they're doing that. So you want them to get that core control from the front of the pelvis, and you can catch them if they're cheating. Now, the harder way to do this is three and nine. So you're going to tip one ASIS bone down and then the other side. And for me, going to the right, mm, no big deal. Going to the left, much, much more sticky. So it's all the same rules, just reverse. And don't forget that you can go all the way around the world, really getting people to try to figure out where their body is in space when they're on their stomach. It's a very, very hard thing to do. But again, this is a great warm up to do before you go into things like overhead press or swan or for your people with back and sacral issues to get them to start to mobilize the pelvis on their femur head. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.